Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. We are back in Yarmouth in the saga. So a few of you guys have told me um, that obviously crab fishing isn't worth it for the amount of stuff we have to do for it. And I kind of agree. 1272 is terrible. Um, just having a look at the other prices. Pollock and redfish aren't too bad at the moment. That's what season, that's what season we're in. So if we go fish types, fish seasons, pollock's all year rounds and redfish is all year round. So pollock and redfish, the only two we can fish for. So what I'm going to do is, um, Eagle's Head, where's Lunenburg is up here. Let's go to Lunenburg. You guys might already know what, I th what, you, what you think I'm going to do. We'll take the saga. Um, we will go shipyard owned. Scarlet. Um, actually, where's the not guilty? We'll just activate that. Um, no. Scarlet, we will sell. Come back to available. We'll look at the Arctic Pioneer. I say, Jesus, the Atlantic Catcher. We don't want that thing. Um, Arctic Pioneer. So we'll buy that. No, we don't need that. Let's go to town. Our crew. Turn both these guys to our boat. Let's go to the bar. Some redfish. Perfect. Let's go to our upgrades. If they want to go with engine and storage straight away. Um, which obviously we can't really afford. Uh, no. Oh yes, there we go. A bit of lags going on here, which is weird. Um, let's go bank. Can't borrow. What do we have to pay back? Pay back both of these. Actually, no, we can't. We can't pay back any of these. Okay, so this is going to be a bit tougher than I thought. Um, we've got other ships that we can obviously sell. Not you have owned. We can sell both of these guys for now um, we've got the Lenora as well we'll sell that just keep these two for now I know, can we actually sell that or not? that's what we can alright so 2 million back so we can do our upgrades which is really what we need to do 80,000 kilos better engine uh, better radar there we go autopilot we definitely want Fishing quieter, we don't care. Fish sonar, we definitely want that guy. Boys, a good gutting. Definitely need two of those. Don't care about searchlight. I don't really care about thrusters as much, but we'll get it too just in case. Um, right, we'll get that. We'll look at, I think, in fish market. So, fishing gear. Go with the 10,000 hooks. We can get up to 120, but. I think we're only going to need like, let's just do it this way, uh, 10 I think, really all we're going to need, let's bait them, um, so I want to go with orange and red, so we want some crab and some krill, so we'll go, 5 crab, 5 krill, why does it not do that? Uh, crab, there we go. So five crab, five krill. That should be enough. Now let's have a look at our current workers. Do we need that many people? I don't think so, because we don't actually need to freeze anything. We need one person to prepare gear, one person to haul, and two people to machine gut. So, we only need two people. So let's go crew on board. I'm going to rest everyone at the crew house for now. Let's have a look. So, machine gutting. I think Emma and Pearl are both the best at that. Where's our long line hauling? Been Emma. They're both about the same. So, we'll get Emma. And um, Emma and Rudy. Not Rudy. No, Emma and Pearl, I should say. So they can do their thing. 
Um, Pearl, Emma, go Pearl, she can go and cook. Then we can actually start heading out of Lunenburg. And go and see where that um, redfish was. So seven days ago, seven months ago. Don't really have much else. I'm gonna remove all of these. Not all of them, I guess. We'll leave them there. We'll get rid of the snow crab over here. Get rid of the four days ago lobster. The pollock is up here now, which is interesting. I guess we'll um, head down into here to look for some redfish. So, how do we go with cooking? She hasn't cooked anything yet. That doesn't help. Right, let's go. Down to here. I guess we'll just plot a course to here. Autopilot. Do it as high as we can go. Uh, let's have a look. So we'll bring Emma out. I want her to prepare the krill, I think. Go fish bait, krill, redfish, yeah. So we want her to prepare the krill. Let's have a look at the sonar. Some cod, silver hake, some more cod. Haven't seen any redfish yet, but. Pollock in the area as well. Set long line, but what long line did you actually bait? That, that's good. Alright, we'll set the long line. She should, yep, she's already got that going. This is obviously going to take a while for us to run these out. So, um, what I'll do, guys, is I'll put a cut in the video here and I'll bring you guys back once I've run out say the five long lines with krill and we'll go back and we'll start to haul them in and see um, what we've actually managed to, to catch so don't go anywhere guys we'll be back very very soon right here guys we're back just coming up on the first line gonna get the girls out to do some machine gutting even though we're not ready for them just yet but um, I'll show you guys what I did I did run three lines out down through here um, the first two or well, first three should have krill the next two have the crab. I don't know, I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, but I, when I got this line done, I went around to this one, I skipped eight hours and then put in another two lines there just in case we're full after these three. Go and sell and then come back. So that'll avoid us having, you know, too much wastage and stuff like that. So coming up on our first one, as I said, girls will head around and get ready to machine gut and I'll actually bring in the first line and see how we go. We definitely need a third person for the long lining stuff, but I mean, it's not urgent at the moment. We'll have a look, I think, and bring a third person on board. So one of 12, so not perfect, not having the maximum of 15 on the long line, but still, one of 12 is not too bad. A little bit concerned about the fish we're getting on board, though, because it's out of this season, I believe. Most of this will probably get thrown back. We, we're trying to target the redfish here, and we haven't seen one yet. A little, a little bit concerning. There's one. Some more silver hake. Use our first redfish with some cod behind it, which we don't need. It's just the redfish and the pollock is what we're targeting, I think. Everything else is out of season at the moment, so... That was probably the main reason why I didn't want to go back long lining or net fishing or anything at the moment, to stick with crab or lobster, because, yeah, just um, having it out of season and catching, you know, like, cod like this and haddock and stuff like that, it all has to get thrown back in. You know, it's um, just taking out of the ocean stuff we can't actually use. So, 15,000, silver hake, haddock and cod is not in season. So we've got some redfish and some pollock, so not massive amounts, as you can see. 
a little bit disappointing. So we're not in the best area, I don't think. Let's head down to Long Line 2. That should be just about ready in a minute. Might skip through one hour. That'll give the girls some time to um, get some more stuff done. Let's clear that out of the way. So I, I think we can go lobster fishing on this boat too. So potentially we can go back lobster fishing. Now we don't have to be doing long line on net fishing. We can take this one out and go lobster fishing again. Right, so I'm going to have to swing hard left here. To try and reel this in. We get it? Yep, we could got it. So there's plenty more redfish on this one, which is good. One of 15 as well, which makes me feel even better. So I think we might have threw that first uh, long line out a little bit too early. Wasn't as much redfish in that area, so we'll see how we go. This side. Alright, so there's a few redfish, but there's not any more that I can see on the line at the moment, but we have got, you know, a total of 15 on the line, so that's a good sign as well. Looks like there's a few more redfish coming after this silver hake. Get another three, so that's good to see as well. I know the prices for redfish, and I think it's a pollock we're chasing, is not... Um, not overly high, but still, if we can get a decent amount on the boat, we should make some decent money. Right, so four more to go. That's another redfish I can see. Yep, only one more redfish to go. This should be a little bit better than the first one. Alright, get those on the boat. Um, wow, 46,000 kilos. 28,000 kilos was lost. So we still got 46,000 kilos then. That is still really good. Um, I'm going to put another redfish there. A catch. That was yeah, a huge amount of redfish in that area. We got nearly four times as much redfish in that spot which is pretty good so the girls are going to have a lot to machine gut uh, what are their stats 1392 and 1308 so they're both doing pretty well as far as their stats go all right let's fast travel down to this one this one's ready to go so i'll get this one hauled in we can get around about another 30 40,000. i would be confident we could pretty much fill the boat which would be nice so we'll see how we go with this line here. If we get another huge amount of redfish on it, then we'll know we can continue to head this way. Right, so we'll haul in the long line. There's a cod coming up straight away, but there's a redfish just behind it. And 15 again, so definitely in a decent spot. It's like a cod, redfish, cod, redfish combo. A couple more redfish behind it. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, there's plenty of redfish up the other end as well, so... Certainly feel like we're in a much better spot. As I said, the girls are going to be quite busy... ...with their machine gutting. I think we're definitely going to need to bring one more person onto the boat... ...for long lining. I don't know who we're going to use. Probably someone that has... ...you know, decent stamina. Decent stamina and also decent machine gunning as well, so they can have the, have our third person as a backup. But I'm really surprised there's no freezing on this boat. I mean, I, I should have known that because we've used it before. But, yeah, I'm still surprised. Well, the last, these three are redfish. wonder what the last one is. It's a redfish as well. No, it looks like... Looks like a um, haddock. Oop, I buggered that one. Alright, 
let's get the last one in and see how we done. Um, 43,000 again, which is good. 25,000 lost, unfortunately, but a um, little bit less than the other one. But still, you know, pretty good spot. So let's throw in another redfish here. Um, what did we have? It was the pollock as well. So yeah, the pollock isn't too bad in that area. Uh, we need to head up to this other way. How are the girls going? They're doing pretty well. They're not like tired, tired. So let's um, head towards this one. And then we're going to rest uh, for eight hours. Actually, let's go four. Girls are still, still gutting. We'll go another four hours. All right, turn our work lights on, our search lights. Um, it's like they're still gutting, poor buggers. I think I've still got half stamina left though, so they're doing okay. Um, still a little bit early for this line, so we're going to rest for another hour, I think. Now we can pick her up. So these ones we actually targeted the Pollock on this side. So these ones are baited with um, the crab. Alright, so we'll haul this one in. See how we go. Is there... Yeah, it's 15 on this one as well, so... That's pretty good. Hoping we're going to get some redfish as well, or a little bit of redfish. I mean, at least we got, um, you know, 15 on the line, so it's definitely getting a full line again. Two goods in a row. Silver Hake still spinning around like crazy. I haven't really found any, um, you know, game-breaking bugs for quite a little while, so still... The devs are still keeping on top of everything. They're still doing a really good job. Just with um, updates and, and stuff like that. Certainly a lot better now than what it was when it... Um, was, uh, was first released. I do apologise if I'm yawning a lot on my... Um, I had my daughter for the weekend and everything was good Friday night she was great and then Saturday morning she um, she was a little bit sick she threw up a few times and she pretty much just slept the whole day off and on had like a 24 hour tummy bug because she was fine Sunday morning um, then I took her back to her mum's place and uh, Sunday night I ended up with a tummy bug um, it's probably the sickest I've ever felt in my entire life to be honest it was really really bad um I ended up trying to have a shower and then when I went in the shower I got really lightheaded and decided to sit down on the floor of the shower and then I remember standing back up again and my partner coming in to make sure I was okay and then next minute I woke up on the floor. So I don't know what happened but it was weird. But yeah, it was um, not pretty. I think I had it a lot worse than my daughter did but still, yeah, it's, um, it's the worst feeling I've had as far as sickness, sickness goes in a long bloody time. There we go, 5,000 Pollock. So not too bad. So let's put some um, Pollock in here. We'll head to our next line. It's ready to go. How are the girls going? So still got 25,000 to go. They're not... I mean, they're not overly tired. 1488 to 1392, so they've gone up a little bit better with the machine gunning, which is great to see. Uh, it's a time, 10.30 at night. I don't know if they're going to get it all done though before we have to head back to port. Maybe we're going to have someone hand gutting at the same time. But I think the machine gunning is going to be a lot better. We've got plenty of level 5s compared to, you know, the 1s, 2s, 3s and 4s, so that's good to see. 1 of 15 again. I think we're in a half decent spot here, but you don't want to overfish it too much. So we'll continue to move around a little bit. Right, so the silver hake's there. That's a cod. It's hard to see because it's not very bright. That's a cod coming on board. 
Then that looks like a um, a haddock, but I think I don't know if it's a haddock or a poly, because they sort of come up looking a little bit different. Because the cod and the pollock look the same, the haddock's the one that looks different to the cod and pollock. If I remember correctly, I still struggle. I really do. Alright, it's so a haddock. Looks like a cod. Potentially another haddock again. See, that one's got like a limp neck when it's coming up on the line where this these two don't. So are these the haddock or is the one with the limp neck the haddock or the pollock? I don't know. Right, last one, silver hake. Can we fill the boat? Pretty sure we will be able to. We're pretty close to it. Boom. Ah, storage is full. Yes, that's good. So silver hake, haddock and cod is not in season of course. So 4,000 Pollock, 398 Redfish, not a bad spot, so let's throw down our uh, Pollock again. So that's the one that we were given, and they're the two that we've thrown in, and plus these two, so hopefully it's heading this way. Now let's check out our finances, because it's Pollock and Redfish is what we've got, so 425 and 90, 501, 201 Lunenburg, Lockport 502, Uh, looks like Lockport or Lunenburg, whichever ones are closer. I think, um, so Lockport's right here, isn't it? So, it's actually travelling to here. So that boat's just sort of sitting there, but he's going to move out of the way, and we're going to run straight into him. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Okay, so we need to go back through this spot just here. Alright, let's go to the map and remove that. So the girls are still... Why does it keep telling me that? The girls are still trying to gut. Still got 20,000 to go. Um, what is in our journal? Mackerel begins in two days. Yep, that's right. We don't have anything to go mackerel fishing just yet. Um, where are we going? Over there, that's right. Right, so let's go full steam ahead now. Hopefully the boat will start to straighten up a little bit. Then we can go to the left. Change our view, keep an eye on a little spot there. I like doing it from the inside view, but it makes it hard. We've pretty much gutted everything just about. I don't know how much we've got compared to both um, I think we're pretty similar on weights on both of those which isn't too bad definitely got the full boat, we've got an extra 4 kilos how are the girls going? they're going to need a little bit more time let's swing around Shut the boat down. Let's um, rest for two hours. Still got a little bit to go. Let's just go for one hour. They can both return to there and have some something to eat. Then we can swing it around to the right. Let's have a look and see, actually. Storage. So 86,000 Pollock. That's 1,000 kilos. Um, and 73,000 kilos of redfish. So a little bit more pollock than redfish, but still not too bad. Sell our fish. So, I mean, not the best prices, but not bad either. Plus 29% gutting. Uh, 560 and 186. So pollock's definitely what we should be targeting. Not as much as the redfish, but I mean, port reputation. Got an extra four grand. Paid the girls 21,000, but still back up over $2 million, which isn't bad at all. So five lines is pretty much all we're going to need. Um, let's go to the bar, look for some tips. Redfish three days ago. Lobster from a week ago, why not? Let's look at our crew. The Victor's definitely the best one. 
Long line hauling's only four, so Victor can be our long line hauler. Um, let's bait. Right, we bait it down here. Let's go. Yeah, crab. Three with crab. Two with krill. There we go. Alright, so let's have a look at... Um, What am I thinking? Thinking of something. Maintenance, we get fuel. Not that we really need it too much. Um, bar, there we go, bar. No missions from here. So, um, radio guys, I think what we'll do is continue to do some more fishing. Uh, where was that? So the redfish are traveling this way, looks like. So maybe we can come down this way and look for some more redfish and pollock down through here. So they're obviously in here as well because we've got a decent amount, but maybe they're coming back down through here. Uh, lobster's still slowly travelling down through here. Crab, that's the one that they gave us. Um, pollock, there's a lot of pollock up there. See, that wasn't bad through here either. So we might come down and fish down through here next episode and see how we go. Continue to just look for some pollock and some redfish. Mainly, mainly focus on the pollock, I think because that's where the money's going to be for us at the moment. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you've got any ideas and suggestions, leave it in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.